are watching Local 10 News, South Florida's only true high-definition newscast. See the difference. True HD. Only Local 10 News. Well, Labor Day celebrations typically center around food, so imagine suffering from a condition that can make eating unpleasant or even impossible. Well, tonight, Local 10's Christy Kruger takes a look at a stomach problem that affects more than 1.5 million Americans. The act of eating isn't just about feeding our bodies, it's also about feeding our senses. Food is meant to be savored, but for people with a condition called gastrophoresis, eating is anything but enjoyable. It just comes out of nowhere. And over the last year, I lost about 40 pounds. Burhan Gandhi was diagnosed with gastrophoresis five years ago. The vomiting and nausea associated with this condition got progressively worse. It got to a point where I couldn't even drink water. I drink a couple of sips of water and just vomit. Dr. Raul Rosenthal with the Cleveland Clinic in Weston says gastrophoresis is a condition in which the stomach muscles don't function correctly. The stomach stops contracting, continues to produce acid and hormones, makes you hungry, but it stops pushing things forward. In many cases, there's no known cause for gastrophoresis, but risk factors include diabetes, autoimmune diseases, abdominal surgery, and eating disorders like anorexia and bulimia. In all reality, there is very little done scientifically to treat this disease. Dr. Rosenthal is one of a few specialists in the entire country working with a device called the gastric stimulator. Once implanted in the stomach, it emits electrical impulses to interrupt the nausea signals being sent to the brain. At least you don't lose weight, you don't end up in an emergency room, you don't need a port to be hydrated. After having the stimulator implanted in June, Burhan says he's once again able to find joy in food. It's like a whole new life because I can eat, I'm not having the nausea all the time, so it's like everything's completely different. It sounds great, but I need to let you know the FDA has only approved this gastric stimulator for what's known as compassionate use, and that simply means a limited number are approved to be implanted. I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News. And the warning signs of gastroparesis can mimic other disorders like reflux, so it's important to get a proper diagnosis from a gastroenterologist.